Hey family, good morning, good morning. We are heading into neighborhood Walmart to go and spend my first YouTube check. Yay. Let's grab a basket and go in here and see what we can get. These ones are $9.48 for the whole watermelon. But I want a seeded watermelon. They don't have them yet. And get some bananas. The bananas are 58 cents a pound in here. Let me see. These ones right here look good. It's 58 cents a pound for the bananas. Mangoes are two dollars and four cents a piece. Those are kind of expensive right now. Their lemons are 58 cents a piece. They're cheaper at Winko, but I'm not going to Winko today, and I do need a couple lemons, so I'm just gonna get some out of here. Got four lemons. So I'm guessing the pineapples are just $2.68 right now. I haven't bought one for a while because I had a couple that I just cut not too long ago. These ones are still kind of hard. Yes, I think I'm gonna pass on the plums. $2.87 a pound. I'll be glad when like the peaches and all that start coming out. These are $4.96 right now. I've actually tried one of these before and they don't taste like nothing to me. The oranges are 98 cents a piece for the navel oranges. So I'm gonna see if I can find a bag of oranges. There's a dollar and 24 cents in here. These are the, these are the organic ones. These ones are two dollars and 97 cents in here for the little cucumbers. They have, oh, these ones are big over here. Oh, these ones are different than the, the regular little ones, huh? These ones are $3.68. I don't know if I want, oh, here they are. Here we go, $2.12 for these ones. Those ones are a little bigger over there. Get a couple regular cucumbers. These are 82 cents a piece. You wanna get two of those? This one looks good. That one looks good. one looks good too. Yep, that one looks good. Go ahead and put that in the bag. We see some romaine hearts. These are $3.96 a piece. I have a couple things that I want to make with some um, lettuce, yeah. like lettuce wraps. So I'm going to grab those. So these oranges right here, these ones are big though. I don't want them that big. Those ones, these are $4.97. So if they're 98 cents a piece, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six for $4.97. So a dollar less than what you would pay for if you were buying them individually. They also have some blood oranges over here. These ones are really good if you've never tried these. These are $3.93 a piece. And there's two, four, six, eight of them in here. So I purchased a bag of potatoes. Um, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, but all the potatoes are green and they haven't changed colors. So I'm not sure if they're good. I'm actually thinking about throwing them away and just grabbing I'm just gonna grab a new bag of them. These are $3.38. These ones look much better as potatoes. So I'm also gonna get a couple, what you would call baker's potatoes to make baked potatoes. These are $1.38 a pound. I'm gonna grab a couple of these to make baked potatoes. This is gonna get heavy. Got our potatoes. Baker's potatoes, got another bag of potatoes. So we're gonna head over here. Go check out the strawberries and stuff. See how much the strawberries are. Strawberries are $2.98, which they're about 50 cents more than what they are at Winko, but these ones look actually much better than the ones at Winko. So they look, yeah, they do. They look really big and juicy. So we're gonna grab a couple of these. So we'll get these two. I don't know. Have you guys been really eating grapes or what? Yeah. Maybe we'll get these red seedless table grapes. I'll get this little pack. These are two dollars and sixty-eight cents a pound. And we can get some green grapes as well. These are these are two dollars and sixty-eight cents a pound as well for the green grapes. Grab a little thing of green grapes because they don't eat grapes as much as they used to. I don't know, they've kind of been tasting weird lately, so we'll see how these ones taste. These ones are called Sweetums, so maybe these ones are a little bit sweeter and not as sour. Yeah, 
she likes these pasta salads. These are two dollars and ninety-seven cents. She's gonna grab herself a pasta salad. Are you gonna get one for your brother? Okay. Their um, turkey and stuff is a little bit cheaper than it is at Winko. So, oh, they do have the crack crack black pepper turkey is six ninety-eight, which that's not bad because I want to say it is usually around eight dollars at Winko. They have this limited edition Carolina Reaper blend. It says great for enchiladas. Shredded blend is low moisture, part skin mozzarella and Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno habanero and Carolina Reaper peppers. Oh my goodness, would you guys try this? This looks like it would be hot. I'm not even gonna mess with that because I do not like to burn up like that. They also have this mac and cheese blend these are both limited edition cheeses. This is shredded cheddar gouda and guy, I don't know how to say that word. Sorry y'all, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. But this says, you said let you try. What does it say? <laughs> where was it? Right here. Uh, green. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try to say it, but that's what's in it. And this is a mac and cheese blend and a Carolina Reaper blend. So I'm not getting the mac and cheese blend or the Carolina Reaper blend. I'm gonna stick with my regular cheese today, which is some medium cheddar and I will grab the Fiesta blend. So lately I've been getting some turkey bacon. I like turkey bacon. I don't see the kind that I got in here. I wanna say I might've got it from Winko. Oh, this is it right here. Here we go, the uncured turkey bacon. These are $3.72 gonna get some butter I think I have some but I'm just gonna get some just in case because if I do have some I'm pretty sure it's almost gone you guys like yogurt do you eat the yo play or do you choose like you know the oikos the too good the chobani I've tried these kind of yogurts like the Greek yogurts and all that but for me they are just a little bit too thick so let's see so their eggs in here are $13.97 I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. I wanna say they might be a dollar or two cheaper at Winko, but I'm not sure. And I'm in here, so I'm just gonna get them in here. $13.97 for the 60 count of eggs. I'm also gonna get some little crescent rolls. I have a couple of really good recipes that I have made with these crescent rolls right here. I'm going to get some ranch. The Hidden Valley has definitely gone up. It was like $3.20 or something like that, or it may just be in here, I'm not sure. But this is the kind that I like to get. I need some chicken broth. So this chicken broth right here is $1.37. I have a recipe that I wanna do, and it calls for some nacho cheese. So I'm gonna get this nacho cheese right here. This should be enough for what I need to use it for, this one can. So I'm going to grab one of these ones. Same thing as Velveeta, just a little cheaper. Velveeta 748, this one is 528. It does the same thing, so I'm gonna get this one right here. So she wants to get some pickles, so we're gonna grab a jar of pickles. Um, you can get these ones down here. No, 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 not those. You get a bigger one down here. These ones right here are $3.44 for these ones. This is new. This is a birthday cake trail mix. This has peanuts and birthday cake cookie dough bites, sprinkled cookie squares, yogurt flavored covered waffle cone pieces, and pretzels. Oh, they also have this. This one is new too. This is a churro flavored trail mix. This has Churro seasoned peanuts, churro seasoned corn sticks, churro seasoned white chocolate pretzel balls, honey cinnamon almonds, and dark chocolate almonds. That sounds like a lot of sweet stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a churro flavor trail mix and then a birthday cake trail mix. I don't know, Walmart has come up with some different crazy stuff lately. I don't know, I haven't been in here for a long time actually. This is my first time shopping in neighborhood Walmart in probably over a year. And really, I don't shop too much in Walmart, like period, even if it's like Super Walmart, because I usually go to Winko or Fred Meyers. When I used to come to Walmart to, you know, shop, they never had any distilled water, like ever. I don't know why, what it was, but they never had any. And they do have some today. Good. So I'm going to get, I don't think I need too many waters right now, so I think I'm only gonna get three of them. Original coconut milk. These are three dollars and eighty-seven cents. 
want to check out what they have in this aisle. I don't need anything. Oh, these are new. What's this? Oh, that's just, that's a bunch of sugar. That's what that is. A variety pack of cereal ones. These are new. These are Fruity Pebble Treats, Lucky Charm Treats. I haven't seen these ones. The Cinnamon Toast ones I've seen before, but I've never seen the Fruity Pebbles or the Lucky Charms. These things are new though. These are soft baked bars. This is apple streusel. It says made with applesauce. Apple streusel, berry, and banana streusel. That sounds good. You wanna try these? You don't think so? It says made with applesauce. Okay, so she says she doesn't want to try it because she doesn't really like applesauce, but those are new in here. Three dollars and 42 cents for those So this flavor right here is new. This is chocolatey chip pancake flavor pop-tarts. Would you guys try those? I do not know about those that pop-tarts are just so so sweet I'm gonna get some granola This is oats and honey This one is vanilla and French vanilla and almond. So I'm gonna get the French vanilla and almond one. It's $2.67. These are veggie blend Cheerios. I have apple, strawberry, and blueberry banana. And it says flavored with spinach, carrot, and sweet potato. Those sound interesting. That sounds disgusting. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> those ones, there's only four of those. These mixed fruit ones right here are 12. You get 12 of them for $5.97. And they're mixed fruit. No, it comes with cherries. So we're gonna get this cherry fruit mixed. Five dollars and ninety-seven cents. This one has twelve in it. I need some taco seasoning. This is a dollar seven cents for the McCormicks. What I do need is some lemon pepper. Let me see. That's mustard seeds. Ew. Let me see. I don't see any lemon pepper. Ah, uh, here we go. So they put the lemon pepper seasoning over here, which is weird because all the other seasonings, like the uh, Walmart brands over there, the lemon pepper seasoning is right here. So I'm gonna get one of the lemon pepper. I also wanna get some, because I am completely out, some of the Slap Your Mama seasoning. This is $3.93 in here. And then I also want to get some of the Creole seasoning. This is $2.94. Uh, let me see. Got it. Nope, this one right here. This is the ketchup that I use. This is the organic great value tomato ketchup. I gotta grab the green hot sauce because this is her favorite hot sauce. <laughs> is that your hot sauce dance? <laughs> You're silly. They have these tahine tostadas. Wow, we should try them, but they actually look kind of hot. They say new tahine tostadas. Would you guys try these? These are $2.58 here in Walmart. I'm gonna grab some tortillas though. I need some flour tortillas, and I always buy tortillas for the kids. They have cocoa puff waffles, Trix waffles, and cinnamon toast crunch waffles. They have these Chef Ramsay and Andrew Zimmern, Cardia Brown. These are all their little meals that they have in here. Pretty sure they don't taste like what they taste like in the restaurants, but they have these little meals in here. Over here they have uh, Patty LaBelle chicken and waffles, Patty LaBelle mac and cheese, glazed sweet potatoes, collard greens. Now I wanna check out their chicken. I know it's usually cheaper at Winko, but their prices seem to be pretty much the same. These are $9.93, so these are $1.77 a pound, and then their drumsticks are $1.28 a pound. So I'm gonna get a pack of the drumsticks. These ones right here are $6.10, and then the chicken breasts these are four dollars and 97 cents a pound which the chicken breasts are always a little bit more expensive this one is eleven dollars and three cents i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one these are boneless skinless chicken breasts okay so i am not buying any ground beef if you have seen any of my videos then you will know that i said i am staying clear of ground beef and I have been successful at doing it for over a month now. So I'm going to find some seafood, some fish, 
and some shrimp and then that will be it for the meats let's see what they have they have some salmon they've got cod flounder some tuna steaks uh, they've got a lot of stuff they got some hush puppies right here these are five dollars and 78 cents i've actually never had a hush puppy before catfish fillets tilapia they've got some lobsters in here i've never had the frozen lobsters before these are some wild caught um, sockeye salmons um, let me see those ones only have a couple in it i kind of rather get those ones from winko they have some mussels i haven't had mussels for a while but i used to actually love mussels those are six dollars and 22 cents some scallops those are 19 dollars and 98 cents their shrimps are six dollars and sixty-four cents for the what? These are the colossal ones. The extra larges are five dollars and thirty-eight cents. The smalls are five dollars. I'm gonna get the extra large. Okay, guys, this is my basket. This is everything that I have. I also have my meats and my eggs down at the bottom. I am headed to the register now to go see what this all comes up to. How much do you guys think it's gonna be? All right, guys, that is the end of our grocery haul at Walmart. We got all these items and we spent how much? We spent um, $173.68. $173.68. And this is thanks to my YouTube check. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.